Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Iron Sheik84, here with another low tier gladiator video. And as you can see in the title, today we're going to be using Bailey the Huggable One. So, Bailey was actually one of the cornerstones of my female roster for quite some time. Uh, until uh, I kind of was like at the point where I was like, well, I really need to start working on some other women. Uh, and I haven't really used her as much, but she was recently given away with her Christmas sweater. So I was like, hey, this is a perfect opportunity to uh, showcase what she can do. So uh, we're going to take a look at Bailey here. So her Christmas sweater gives her uh, the ability to generate two more blue, oh God, I don't know, two more blue gems. Uh, and it's going to come in handy for the setup I'm going to be showing off here. So um, I use the Bailey to Belly Suplex, the Crossbody, and the Bulldog. And for trainers, we're going to use uh, Jerry Lawler. We're going to use Christian for extra color turn uh, gem damage. And we're going to use uh, good old Santa Hogan. Um, now, as always, I have full tour perks. And I understand that my Santa Hogan recently became 17k. The extra move point isn't really going to matter here. Um, but I just always want to point that out because I know some people... I hear that complaint every single time of like, Oh, I don't have Hogan at 2200, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter here. I'm just... I use them for extra damage. Um, doesn't, like I said, barely does anything to, to add to that. Um, so everybody's going to have Christian. Uh, and let me just double check one thing real quick. Um, I don't think there's any other color turn people. If you wanted to risk it. And, uh, oh, well. Uh, Ken Shamrock here, but not everybody's going to have Shamrock. Otherwise, honestly, what I would do is just risk it, do the double, uh, try to get a blue match and do it from there. But, uh, again, how I play is a little different from other people. And then for the belt setup, my, my belt's pretty bad. I really need to get rid of this. Um, but I would choose one of two things. Either choose a flat blue gem, uh, flat blue move metal so that you buff both of these. Or since this is a 1 MP move, I would add a, uh, a purple flat move damage uh but yeah let's uh let's get going oh, man. i had a late night last night because a little one so i'm a little tired right now <laughs> okay so this move right here, the crossbody, deal 33,959 damage and choose three rows to make in a color turn gems. So I'm going to use this. But you see this? I'm only going to make one row. And you're going to say, Sheik, but you can make three rows. Why aren't you using three? Here's why. So you see your one MP move? I'm going to turn five color gems into blue gems, right? So remember earlier when I said I don't have full tier, you know, not having full tier perks is a, is a moot point? Well, there you go. Here's the reason why. So you see here, this move is refilled. The Bailey to Belly is ready to go if it wasn't before. And you see here how basically since I made a Cascade, I can do an extra move. So yeah, um, I can choose. I I'm not going to do it because I don't want to Cascade, but you can do an extra swipe here if you want. But yeah, so now that my moves are filled again, one, two, three. Hit the Bailey to Belly. And look at that. 328,000 damage. Alright. Screw you too. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Kick out of that. So I'm going to do the Bulldog. Hopefully get some gems that connect. No, I didn't because of course I didn't. there let her do her thing there we go kicked out there 
There we go, move filled. And the reason why I didn't use this is because we already had enough color gems on the board, but one, two, three, I'm gonna take away hers. Belly to belly. Bam. Another 300k damage. All right, that's fine. She can kick out whatever she wants. And again, like I said, you know, I, 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 uh, I understand not everybody's gonna be a one-shot killer, but um, what I can do is, like I said, just show uh, how people work in, you know, the the real world. So there we go. We got our moves filled up again. Now, if I had a flat, <clears throat> like I said, um, now what I could always do is, uh, so just do this right here. Now this is a little bit risky because, you know, um, there's a possibility I can't have my moves refilled, but I kind of want to show how this works. There you go. And kind of like what I thought, this came back and bit me in the ass. Which is fine. Sometimes gotta try a little harder to get the gold, right? Alright, so there we go. And I'll just put that right there, because she's gonna break that. And boom. Another 300k damage. And there you go. Bailey wins. So like I said, I'm, I'm obviously, like I said, I, in this, I would definitely use a full armor setup to have it to have it harder for them to kick out um i would show that off but you know i mean i'm limited in my resources and uh <laughs> you know uh i don't like to uh, you know i I'm, I'm running low on a lot of stuff as it is but let me uh, let me show off uh let's see L mode oh yeah i chose i showed a lot of lacy evans last time let's uh let's show what it, what happens whenever you um you use someone with a class advantage, what a little tour, round five, number one, versus Lacey Evans, let's heal her up, and let's go. There we go, so like I said, I'm going to choose a row with two. Um, there we go. So, uh, this is how, like, you, you ideally want it to, to go. So, you know, you have the two connecting right here. So, that's a full row. And, of course, I, I knew I was going to cascade, but whatever. Alright. So... Like I said, I just do this for the extra damage each time, so... There we go. Bailey to belly. Like I said, again, you're gonna do that consistent, like, 300k damage each time. go hopefully we have some luck and some matches and we did this time we did 400k damage RNG gods here again. Alright, no luck, but hey, it's fine. Put that there. And again, like I said, I show this off because hey, it's not going to be a perfect situation every single time. 
Uh, you know, this isn't like, you know, the top tier characters that, you know, every single time will hit, you know, like 500,000, you know, like we'll hit a million every time. It just doesn't happen. So um, I can do one of two things here. Um, I can uh, I can use the Bulldog and pin her, which, uh, which spoiler, I'm going to do. Or I could hit the finisher, but I'm not going to hit the finisher because, uh, yeah, just, you know, I'd rather go for the guaranteed damage now and um, try again next round than to basically waste the finisher if I, uh, on the off chance I'm not able to fill it up. So that's fine with me. Actually, I'm kind of happy about that because this gives me an opportunity to do this uh, with the pin bar that far out. I'm going to hit this. There we go. One, two, three. Do that. Bam, look at that. All right, there we go, we beat Lacey Evans. So yeah, um, Now, I'm going to show off one other thing that you can do um, as an alternate strat. Um, this one's a little riskier, but it works, uh, it works just as well. So what you could always do here is swap out Christian. Here we go. I don't know why you didn't show up, but uh, everybody has NXT Seth. Well, you could always do, and again, like I said, I just uh, not trying to beat a dead horse. So you have the gear, and you're making uh, extra blue gems now. What you could always do as well is... I know I'm gonna. I'm, I know I'm gonna cascade here. So I mean, whatever. I can't really. Of course, when I need blue gems on the board, there aren't any. And then when I'm showing an alt strat, there's like 50 million on the board. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see the alt strat. Come on, for the love of God, just let me show this off. Okay. So there we go. We're gonna do two rows. Yep, just pin again. You see, this is the reason why I said it's a much riskier strat. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to do this because... Uh, seems like I'm never going to get this off without, without, pinning, uh, without pinning Lacey Evans every freaking turn. Great! Wonderful, this is exactly what I want to do every freaking time. There we go, thank you. So, like I said, I know this is a much riskier strap, but you see here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
So what you can always do is uh, you could use a, you could use Kofi, uh, you know, like have a bunch of extra color turn gems, and then whenever you hit this. So I was doing like 300k before, you know, you're doing maybe like an extra 30,000 damage. And I know uh, this isn't as uh, effective because, like I said, I'm pinning every other freaking turn. Um, but the one, like, good thing about this one is you're going to more consistently fill the blue moves. So, again, I didn't get to show it off the way I want to ideally do it. But, um... Yeah, just break, just, you know, just like I said, just break uh, 50,000 gems every single time. But let me show off any strategy whatsoever in what I do. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Maybe that's the reason why. I should have separated out those so one two three there you go so as you see here like i said it's a little it's a little different you know um but i'm still i'm still consistently doing it and the one like i said the one uh kind of advantage of uh this strat versus the other one is the blue moves get filled up every single time but that's also if your color turn gems don't dick you over every single time like they do here because of course they do <laughs> Well, like I said, this is the reason why whenever I make a video, I show it off without, you know, like, I don't I don't keep re-recording it over and over and over until I get a perfect board because uh, uh, you're not going to get the perfect board every single time. And to me, like, that's, uh, that's, that's just bad video. That, that's just bad advice, in my opinion. So this one is going to put her down, but... Uh, as you saw, a little, a little rougher, but it's uh, like I said, this is a, uh, this is also like a 100% viable strat as well, just in case uh, you, you don't want to, you know, you want to use uh, one strat over the other. But yeah, um, as always, I appreciate y'all watching this. Um, if you have any suggestions for characters that you'd like a video on, uh, again, um, try to stick to the common characters. Uh, there's no point in me. Uh, Ellen, in my, in my opinion, like, uh, you know, like, I'm not going to show off a six-star zombie Bianca because not everybody has a six-star zombie Bianca or whatever. But, uh, yeah, um, let me know what y'all think. Uh, and, as always, appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to like and comment. And follow me on Twitch at ironsheik 84 for more WWE Champions action. Um, if I'm not on stream or anything before then, have a happy new year, everybody. And I will catch y'all around. Bye-bye.